All right, y'all. So look, there's our two colors. Look, check that out. Bronze stone. And then we got the gold copper. It's a really pretty, almost like a brush gold. And then Tom's got our other copper back there. So here we go. This is what we're working with right here. If you want to jump back on that back side there. So what we're going to do, start pouring out here off the table and we're just going to bring some of this through. save some just to get those tones in there move right into this one my copper container down here I'm going to go ahead and get some on this roller so that it's not dry when it hits the surface and all we're going to do is start mending these colors getting them to take shape <coughs> using a little roller this is going to allow these colors to mend and not blend and become one and what you'll notice here in a minute is I'm going to go kind of every which direction here these guys because these are going to be our undertones that are going to help shine through we're going to add some more copper to this piece and we're going to get this guy to shine right through to come together now. You ready, brother? Yeah. yeah. Alright. So now we got a little more copper here we're going to put in here. Yeah. He did uh said 
nice approach way. Nope. So check it out. I'm gonna let these sit here a second. So sorry, I got a mist right here. I'm gonna hit you. So this is isopropyl, 91%. Okay, we're gonna put this in here to get those effects to start coming out. Now I'm gonna go back to my roller. And this time we're gonna go kind of opposite. And then we're gonna end up smoothing all these guys together. Bear with me. We're going to kind of streak him up the opposite direction here, and then we're going to lay it out flat. Get all those tones to come back. So this is going to allow all these colors here to kind of you know, like I said before, instead of blend and become one, you can see all the different tones in there now. So now, there we go. Now I'm going to start working this side to side, and we're going to try and leave the design in there. So you're gonna push some off, making this pattern in there, it's okay. It's gonna happen. We have another coat that we're gonna be going on with uh, for a top layer. There we go. So look, everybody else already left, it's just me, but I want to tune you in right here to these drips. I just want to show you a couple. See right where that bottom's out flat. Bam. Yeah, look. See how pretty that is? You can tell right there where I stopped. See that little section right there? That's what you're looking for. Now, I keep doing this through the process because if you let these sit here at that gummy stage and build up, they will actually start to take shape. And before you know it, even though you can still swipe and you're getting it off, you're having to go up and down because it's already started to form. That's why you want to do this, you know, about every 20, 25 minutes until it actually starts to harden just like it. So that's what you're looking for though. And there's where we're at. It's a beautiful marble wrap. It's gonna go great with their brand new cabinets. Can't wait for y'all to see it.